Welcome to uh, the GNOME Stew iPad GM Usage Review, uh, presented to you in GNOME Vision, another industry first. Um, in this part, we're going to cover some of the applications. In this case, we're going to start with Pages, which is a, a full-fledged word, word processor for the iPad. Um, this right here is actually a character background for one of the PCs in the game that I run. Uh, it was originally written in uh, Word format, so Pages will read Word. Its native format is, is Pages for OS X, but you can uh, open up Word or Page documents. Create a new document on the iPad, pretty straightforward. Um, it's a full-blown word processor with some caveats. They uh, Not all the features there, but the major stuff that you'd expect to see in a word processor is certainly there. Now you can't see it, but off, hand, off uh, video, I have a Bluetooth wireless keyboard that is connected that uh, I'm using for, for text input. So this is obviously the application here is you could write all of your uh, campaign notes or, or whatnot ahead of time, uh, sideload it into the iPad and have access to it, and uh, during the game actually make notes and update it. So as a player or a GM aide, uh, it has some application there. You can also import pictures, you can cut, you can paste, you can move everything around. You can do everything you can pretty much do in a word processor. The only difference is you're going to be using your finger for a good portion of it. The other difference is that uh, if you're not using the keyboard, you're going to be using the virtual keyboard, which is going to slide up from the bottom. Uh, you won't be seeing that in this review, but uh, many of the uh, reviews online cover it. Uh, if you're used to using the iPhone and the virtual keyboard, it's, it's fairly straightforward and you can probably fly along. Now the next application we're going to go through is Keynote. And this is essentially PowerPoint for Macs. Um, it, just like uh, Pages, it will accept other formats, but the native format is pretty robust. Uh, this is something I actually I created on the iPad, fairly straightforward. I did a, a basic table, uh, created a slide, uh, filled out some, some content. In this case, a little initiative tracker. You can grab and move folks around. Um, uh, after I built it, I realized the initiative value really isn't important once you get it, and there you go, you can display it. Off the edge of the uh, display uh, iPad is the dock connector and from the dock connector you can use a VGA plug-in and with the VGA plug-in you can actually have the output of the iPad uh, in Keynote display to uh, a VGA projector or a TV. Um, the iPad itself will basically turn into a presenter display with uh, that you can use to advance slides or also um, have a little kind of on-screen highlighter to show where you're going. Um, it's actually a pretty robust application, but for gaming usage, um, I, I think it probably would be limited to pre-creating content, putting it on, and displaying it. Um, while it, it is kind of useful to move stuff around with your fingers, um, using this as your method to create content, probably not the greatest. Uh, but, but it does get the job done, and you can still use the keyboard for all your, all your text entry. And like I said, if you uh, if you favor PowerPoint, you can put it on there. And it supports transitions and animations and, and everything you'd come to expect. It's uh, it's a pretty pretty beefy application. The next thing we're going to display is uh, this is actually a VNC type application called Log Me In. Um, using this, you can actually remote desktop into other machines. So in this case, I'm attaching it via my local area network to one of my uh, desktop computers from the iPad in the same household. So I could be a floor away. And this is really kind of the gee whiz cool, um, but uh, it looks good on paper, but I'm going to show you it actually works in practice. So um, you can't really see it too well here. It looks great on the iPad. The video doesn't do it justice, but that is the screen of my Mac Pro desktop uh, at an absurdly high resolution and um, that's D&D Character Builder running on a Mac in OS X uh, virtualized. So um, I am VNC into a Mac Pro running Windows virtualized and as, uh, as you can kind of see well, the interface is a little iffy to work with but it's perfectly serviceable. Um, I had no problems essentially going through and creating a character here from my iPad. Um, so, and this, keep in mind, the device has been out for a total of five days right now. So these are the very fledgling basic applications come out. Uh, LogMeIn is very cool, allows you to access your uh, remote machines, your 
from essentially anywhere in the world. It uh, uses secure connection and um, a, a, a small client that runs on the, the host machines. So I'm just going through, making some selections, going forward. It's it's character builder. There's really nothing really to to dazzle you with here. You've probably seen it a million times. And the application here is obvious that in the anything you could run, uh, like Hero Creator, anything you could run on your your PC, you could easily get to from your iPad if you needed to. Um, and again, it'll it'll only get better from here on out. In this case, I'll pull up a quickie character sheet. Uh, one of the interesting things is if I was not at my home, let's say I was somewhere else playing at another friend's house, uh, my machine at home is always on. I could literally VNC into my machine from halfway across the, the city to get to my character if I had to, just like this. In the uh, final part three, we'll be spending some time on some workflow, giving an example of how you could maybe run a game and some of the more mundane tasks that the iPad does, like web browsing. It's really cool.